Hi Cancer, this is going to be a general love reading for August 2021 and it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is general so it's not going to be everybody's situation but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs or you can get a personal reading if you want and the roles can be reversed because the, the reading is general so let's see what is going on with Cancer. What is the overall energy for the first half of August. All right, and we have Purge. All right, well, that's water right there. Um, okay, so it could be that there are emotions that are coming up to the surface in order to be released. Could be for you, could be for your person, maybe the both of you. Let's see. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first half of August 2021. All right, so for the situation, we have ooh, the Four of Wands crossed by the Nine of Wands. All right. Cancer, there is um, a connection here that just feels like it's right, like this is your person. Um, I feel like there is a lot of strength within the connection. It feels very deep, um, but there's something here, somebody is resisting. There's a lot of resistance. Um, somebody is just feeling like there's a lot of obstacles maybe that need to be overcome at the moment. Let's see, for the recent past, we have the Page of Cups, Near Future, The Magician, so possibly a, some kind of a heart-to-heart -heart conversation may have come through in the recent past. Definitely somebody manifesting something here, or at least trying to, in the near future. For you, we have the Eight of Swords. For them, we have the Empress. More about you is Judgment. For them, the Four of Swords. And potential outcome is the Queen of Cups. Okay, so, wow, what is going on here, Cancer? There is something that I feel is really bugging you here, or um, you're thinking a lot about this situation. You're thinking a lot about this person, about the connection, feeling like maybe you don't know what to do, or feeling like you don't know how to deal with the situation. We'll see, but there's, I feel like you... Once you dig deep, you will know exactly what to do, all right? Because we have judgment here. So there's definitely a major transformation or a decision that you are moving towards or moving towards being able to see things clearly and to be able to make discernment as to what exactly it is that is going on here or about something. For them, the Empress and the Four of Swords... This is interesting. Um, I actually want to wait and clarify for their energy. Either way, for the potential outcome, we have the Queen of Cups. So this is your energy right there. Um, and it's love. It's also love. So I do see things moving in a very positive direction for you regardless. So let's see. Let's clarify and see what this is about. with the Nine of Wands. All right, the, ooh, the Nine of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Okay, definitely for some of you, it could be a third party situation um, going on here. It doesn't have to be. For some of you, it could be that, you know, there has been a separation here where maybe one of you said to the other to actually um, maintain a friendship. Either a friendship or some kind of a work relationship. Um, whatever the case, this is causing a lot of pain, a lot of pain, a lot of stress. 
And I feel like that's actually on both, both sides, both for you and the other person. So it could be that this is, um, I mean, it could, it's going to be different for all of you. For some of you, it could be that it's a third party and that that is what the obstacle is. Um, for others of you, I feel like there's just a lot of other things that were at play here. A lot of resisting, feeling like there's just so many obstacles here. Maybe just not even, you know, maybe it's just as simple as not agreeing on certain things. I do have the sense though that somebody somebody has been hurt and that could also be contributing to this um, because I do feel like there's some kind of a break, some kind of a separation here and it is creating a lot of anxiety um, for both of you. So I do feel like this might actually even be a result of a conversation that was had recently or some kind of interaction that happened recently. Let's see the Eight of Swords for you. All right, the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Moon. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces as well. Um, definitely let me know if you are. You're you're having a hard time really figuring this out, not knowing what to do. I feel like you're you're feeling very hurt as well. You're feeling a lot of this pain, and you don't see how things could possibly be fixed or how things could possibly move forward. How you can even open up to having a new path with this person. I feel like to you that just feels um, very doubtful. And I would even say maybe it, that it might even feel scary to you. Um, I feel like for some of you it could be that, it could be that there's a fear of instability, meaning like, you know, maybe um, somebody just not being consistent and this would especially be true if there is a third party. Um, this could be a fear of the other person being a, um, being a player or just a fear of the other person um, cheating or just not really sticking to something here, being back and forth. So I feel like that is what is um, stressing you out and this is what you are thinking about and so you're feeling like, yeah, well, you know, I don't see how this could even work. That's a very specific situation, which is just an example. It doesn't have to be that. Um, it could just be any kind of inconsistency from the other person that you might be feeling. Or maybe it's you're feeling that about your own self for some of you. All right, it depends. But I do see that there's a lot of fear here in your energy, all right? But again, the roles can be reversed. Let's see judgment, though, because I feel like you're, you're about to come out of this dark energy. I feel like that's what you are purging. Yeah, the magician and the lovers. Wow. Okay, you're beginning to see some truths here and I feel like because you're seeing some truths and because you are making discernments and having revelations, allowing yourself to be transformed and to see things in a different type of a way, because of that you are manifesting love, regardless of whether it is with this person or somebody else. You are manifesting love by transforming. So I feel like this is what you are purging. You are purging here some kind of a situation that, or your own feelings about a situation, or maybe even that situation involving another person. That is coming up to be purged because that is what is helping you to then have like a rebirth after which you will be able to manifest love. But that is going to happen once you purge this fear and this um, sense of feeling trapped.
let's see the Empress for them. All right, I see. So for your person here, it's at, this is actually you showing up as the Empress. Um, that's why I wanted to wait and clarify. You're also showing up here as the Queen of Wands. Um, this person definitely has you on their mind a lot. You are very desirable to them. They see you as, as a queen, basically, as this Empress. Again, I'm getting, I'm getting a message that there's at least two different groups of you. For some of you, this person um, does have another um, partner here. Or there is somebody else in the picture for, for some of you, okay? Um, and for others of you, I mean, either way, this person is still seeing you as the Sempress, okay? It's just that for some of you, there is also somebody else. I don't see this person at the moment um, taking much action, all right? They're in, we have the Two of Wands here, and we also have the Four of Swords. I feel like they're thinking a lot about what it is that they want to do, but not not really having acted on it just yet and not actually taking that action at the moment. Let me see the Four of Swords. All right, well, the only clarifier that we got is the Four of Pentacles. Um, so two fours here. This person, yeah, I, they're holding back. They're holding back a lot. Um, so I definitely feel like this is you purging. This is you wanting to move away from the situation, even though it feels very, very strong. And it could be, right? I mean, things can shift, I don't know, at some later point in the future, maybe. Right now... I feel like things are just not very stable. They're not very consistent. And this person um, that you're dealing with is kind of holding back. Yes, they hold you in a high regard, all right, at some level, in some aspect, but they're not taking action. So uh, it could be that they're healing from something. It could be that they're recovering from something else or trying to... Um, heal another situation but at the end of the day though at the moment they're not taking action towards you so i guess that is the reason why you would be purging this is why you're you're having this fear but that's the message for you though is that releasing this fear is opening up the door for love regardless of who that is okay it's it's love and it's going to be something beautiful I feel like this person is just kind of, they have like a lock on right now, um, being a little bit passive while they're processing whatever it is that they're processing, just kind of waiting. Let's see the magician for the near future. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. Let's see what else. And the Empress. Wow, okay. There's definitely a shift here. And to be honest, I'm not so sure if it's this person here. Um, it could be, could be for some of you. I'm mostly seeing this as you actually manifesting a turn of events. Why? Because you're having this judgment moment here. That judgment is leading you to the magician which means being able to actually bring things to your reality in a way where it's bringing in love and you are going to feel so damn good about yourself. That, that is going to be a major shift for you. I see you completely coming out of this Eight of Swords and Moon energy, that inconsistency. And it's like you are... It's almost like you're rewriting the story. You're rewriting your own story and, and the ending that may have um, 
be, been manifested from this energy up here, you're like, no, 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 scratch that. You're, you're rewriting your own story here. And that's bringing you love. Let's see the Queen of Cups for your potential outcome. Look at that, the Queen of Cups showing up again. Wow, if that's not you really standing in your power, I don't know what is, and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you know, it feels like for now, all right, um, for the time frame of this particular reading, you are moving away from this connection. And not only are you moving away from it, you are moving away from it in a way where it is going to make you feel so damn good about yourself. You are going to be following your intuition. You're gonna be standing so strong in your own power in your own element and feeling like you. You are rewriting your your story here by releasing this, purging this situation, whatever that is. And then, you know, if it's meant to come back, you know, in the future, maybe it will, because like I said, I do feel like it there's a strong bond between the two of you. So that's always a possibility. But for now, you're moving away from this. So the quicker you get out of that Eight of Swords and release that fear of not having this connection, the sooner that you are going to feel like you and you're going to have a different, a completely different experience here. So, Cancer, if this resonated, let's get your final message. I did have a card flip out. It was time for a nap. In case anybody would have no, but <clears throat> now we have mending. All right, okay. So um, I will take the t take uh, time for a nap into consideration. Possibly it's time to take a nap from this situation. All right, that's how that message um, came through to me. And we have mending. So this is all about you being able to mend your own heart, mending your own life, and really finding yourself and putting all the broken pieces of yourself back together again and manifesting that Empress <clears throat> for your own self and that Queen of Cups for your own self, all right? Bringing in love. All right, Cancer, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.